job can a guitar that is this cheap do? Hello and welcome to another video with me Elmo J. Karyalain and it's good to have you along. This is a Fazli Telecaster and it's ridiculously cheap. And I've tried some other guitars on this channel that have been equally cheap. The Fazli Stratocaster comes to mind, Harley Benton's cheapest Strat comes to mind, a really cheap Donner comes to mind. And that kind of gave me the thought that there's, there seems to be a price point that you don't want to go under with the, maybe the notable exception of maybe one guitar that I tried. So what is this guitar? It's a Fazli Telecaster. Ash top, basswood body, maple neck and brown black wood fretboard. Black like the soul of my mother. <laughs> and I won't beat around the bush with this one. I'll give you some sounds. Just on the Marshall. I normally do these with the amp, uh, the, the amp, with the Roland Cube as well, so you get a clean sound. I'll roll, roll down volume a bit, so you get a bit cleaner from the Marshall. It's very, it's very clean, you know, when you have it turned off. Let's add a bit more crunch. So first off is what is this Fazli like? Well, I think the only thing it has going for it is that it looks nice. I, I like the kind of, yeah, the natural finish with the, the gloss on top. That's basically all. It feels like holding a baseball bat, the wrong end of a baseball bat. Some, something is rattling over here. Uncontrollable squeal, which is, normal for this type of a bridge actually. 
so that's actually not a huge downside. Everything looks the cheapest thing they could find. It doesn't really want to stay in tune too well. And the intonation is miles off from the box. So, just a couple of examples. That's not the same note. So you have to do some intonation work on this. And then there's a fret sticking up. I think it was the 13th fret. It's not too bad. Yet, at least. Getting into winter, so this might dry out. Might not. And here's the deal, it only cost me 79 euros new. And uh, I mean, I can't bash this too much for that price. But that being said, in terms of the guitars that I have tried, if you don't meet a certain price point, you're asking for trouble. That price point is, at the moment, around 100 euros. You can probably get something that's good under that. The Indio Classic Strat comes to mind because, okay, I think that was a hundred euros-ish, uh, but that came with a gig bag, which kind of, that means guitar is worth less because they put in the gig bag and yeah. Everything that I've tried under a hundred euros has been really iffy. And if you're on a really tight budget, I'd still recommend you go over a hundred. Or get something second hand. Oh, by the way, this is really heavy as well. So 100 euros. That's the kind of price range. If you go under that, you're asking for trouble, in my opinion. You should only go under that price point if you want to work on your guitar luthier repair skills. If you want to play, you want to get something more expensive. And that's really the long and short of this. This is bad enough that I don't feel comfortable selling it, or if I will sell it, I will sell it for something like 20 euros to someone. Or maybe I'll just give it away. If you want to check out seven great, cheap beginner guitars, there's a video here. Other than that, I hope you support the channel via, via one of the links in the description. There's Patreon, there's Bandcamp, there's affiliate links where you can buy stuff at no extra cost to you. Uh, that supports the channel. But above all, I hope you had some use of this video. I hope you have a nice day. Take care. See you. Bye.